Yo, 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 we're back. It's Monday. It's about to be March. Black History Month is about to be over. Appreciate everybody for last week's video with J.R. Smith. I mean, 50 plus thousand views, like definitely was not expecting that at all. Like I, I, I basically just have a, a goal set that every video that I drop is literally just 10% viewership of subscribers. So I pretty much only expect 2,500 views per video as of right now, um, and that video did 50,000 plus. So shout out to you guys, I appreciate you for that. This video that we're about to drop right now is the video of everything, showing everything that I did during Waste Management Week, primarily with the focus of getting lessons from my main man, James O. Haven't seen James O since last July, um, if you guys have been following me for a while, shot with him last uh, July, had some video content ready to uh, show you guys, but my backpack got stolen when I went to Oakland a week later, and I wasn't able to post those videos for you guys. So, this video is going to show James O and I at two different locations, one where we're getting on-site course correction, and the other where we're uh, doing literally like on the range from what he saw from where we were at and trying to implement the different changes in technique at the range. Also, I got a little little, snip, little snippet of some heat from my time at the waste management with my man, Alan Henry, um, shooting some photos um, with a media credential. So it was a great time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, smash that like, bring the, notif bring the bell for notifications if you guys haven't done it yet. Let's get into the video. Walk us through this one, James with Bryce. Ooh. What do we got? Ooh. What club you got? I got pitching wedge because I'm going to use the backstop here. I see. I see. It's, it's really firm. It's tight. I don't want to mess with a 60 degrees. Okay. Scalding it. 56 degrees scalding it. So I got my pitching wedge. I'm going to just bump and run that sucker right at that meteor. You see it in the hill and uh -huh. then just let uh -huh. it trickle down. I like the pitching wedge here because you could be a little long or a little short and it'll kind of get there. Yes, yes. You, If you hit a 60 or whatever, you gotta be perfect. And right. especially got, don't have a good lie into this grain. See that touch. Oh yeah, watch this backstop. Oh, no roll. Dude, how good oh, is this come shot? On, come on, come on. How good is this come shot? On. Come on. Keep going. No! Keep going. No, it's going. going. Keep going. Three. Ah, ha, ha. How good is that? <laughs> ah, 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 are you kidding me? Look ah. at that. <laughs> yes, sir. My man. Yes, sir. Uh. It just happens when James is here. You know what I'm saying? Like, when James is here, you know, we get creative. We start thinking, you know, that's why Tesla was created. That's why Facebook was created. You get creative. You know, I feel very creative with my guy, James. <laughs> My goodness, I, I gotta hit a bunker shot. Yeah, it's like a this is like a thirty five it's like a thirty five yard bunker. It's a little downhill, short of the pin. Got my sixty. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, ooh, that's really pretty good. good. Got to air on the short side. If he, it looks like death back there, if you go long, ooh. are you going up with this one? Ooh. You're going up with this one? Yeah. Man, I don't see that, but all right, let's see what you got. Ah. I mean, that's about as good as you can do. I know. Run it up. I think your play there, if you go, if you go with a 60 and you hit a spinner, you still have to land it short. Right. Like you can't short. land it anywhere near. I mean, I, I, I would have gone Bump low. It up. Bump it up. I would have gone low. Yeah. Because you hit a, here's the thing. 
you hit a good shot and look where it ended up. Yes. I think you could have putted it, putted it bad and be closer than that. Right. So hard like hit it, hit it, hit it low, like into kind of this area. Yep. What, do you, what do you think? Yep. There you go. There you go. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. I was just trying to be spinny. I mean, I know. Spins, not skins, you know what I'm saying? Spins, Spins over skins, man. You know? <laughs> I told you, dog, this is the one. This is sick. 63. Oh, like Six, that. 60. 63. Going 64 and a half. 63 yards. Gotta land at 64 and a half. Right there. Oh, 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 a lot of spin. Too much spin. I thought it was gonna spin right. No such thing as too much spin. <laughs> <laughs> I hit that one good though. That was money. Ah. Uh, oh, I like it. Spin. Spin. Oh yeah. Dang. Turn. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. What do you do here? What do you do here? Uh, let me see. I'll let you know. Let's talk about it. Oh, man. I mean, it's definitely not high. It's definitely not a high shot. Although that's what I want to do. I'm gonna hit it high. <laughs> it's definitely not a high shot, but I'm gonna hit it high. Oh, oh my god. It's a god. high shot. Wow. It's a high shot. Oh. <laughs> I'm content. <laughs> I'm content. Ooh, this is a tough one. I think I'm dirty enough to hit it. Oh, yeah, you got this. You got this. Remember, ball in the middle, kind of stay down on it. Because it's easy to want to kind of lift this up, yeah. trying to get the ball high, and it's like you got to do the opposite. You got to stay down. You almost, the sensation's almost hit just to hit it low. Right, right, so right. So you, you hit it solid. Yep. Love that setup. Really good. Wow. That is unbelievable. I love that. Let's go. I love that. Let's go. I love that. Let's go. Oh, oh boy, get in the water. Water coaster. Go in the oh. water. <laughs> he's got it. Oh, he's got, got it. it. Yeah. yeah. It's in the water. <laughs> I've never been so happy in <laughs> the water. Awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my God. Oh, that was, that was so funny. So spinny. He's in the right spot oh, there too. That's going in the water too? Oh, the club twirl. Um, nice oh, shot. Oh! <laughs> Keep coming. Come on. He's done it. He's yeah. done it! <laughs> oh, my guy! Let's go! Here's the part of the video where I show you guys my photography debut at the Waste Management Open with my man, Alan Henry. So, you know, we got there early, parked right next to my man, Alan, got it ready to get it popping. Then we walked into the event. There's a whole bunch of people on the line, but we didn't have to use the line to get in. We got underneath where the media members are, saw all the players, bags and stuff like that. Me and Alan got ready to go out. He was like, let me show you around. This is where we're gonna be at today. Got to see Hideki. Got to see all the fans getting ready to get on 16. Then after that, we you know saw the players practicing. It was early in the morning, but the, the, the morning wave was getting ready. Some people got wind of me doing what I was doing. NFL ex NFL player shooting photos at the PGA Tour event. So I had to talk to a couple people about that. Then we went back in, got our ammo, you know, ammo loaded up, ready to go. 
and then we went out there to get to the work. So you see Justin Thomas out there getting it in, walking on 16, the crowd starting to get packed. So then I started shooting photos. And when I started shooting photos, I started learning. I started feeling real nice about it. My craft started getting tighter and tighter as it went. So I just want to show you guys a few of my favorite photos from that day. Here they go. Juice box. Junkie juice box. Oh. Uh. Mother lover, you gon' love this. Graduated from a rebel to a revolutionary in my area, they love this. I'm a record like I'm revving the engine. Heaven's ascension, every dimension. Give me attention. Look at my soul, look at my heart, look at my hope. Got the world on my back, but I carry it though. Tell them God got my hand, I ain't letting it go. I, I, I came from the side of the ocean. All right, I hope you guys like your boy's work. You know what I'm saying? I'm new to the game, but I had a great time doing it. Shout out to my man, Alan Henry. Um, shout out to Atlas Packs, his company. He's the man, a good friend of mine. Um, I'm forever grateful for the opportunity, and I know we'll have some more, to, uh, some more together in the future. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get back into the video. Now we're at the range with James. So tell me about the ball flight you've been trying to hit. What kind of what kind of ball flight? What, what's like, your desired ball flight? I like my ball to go really high, like not like ridiculously high, but I want it to go high in the air. Okay. I want it to freaking fly high <laughs> sure. and drop nice. Sure. Um, my stock shot right now is a draw, like okay. you saw. Um, would love to learn, relearn how to hit a cut when I need it. Okay. Uh, you know, we've worked so long, you know, the last three, four years. Sure. You know, working on being able to release the club. Absolutely. Go right to left. Yes. Now, especially with my longer clubs, I don't feel as confident trying to hit it left and right. Right, right, right. Uh, it can happen if I block it. Right. But like, if I have to have it on call, sometimes I hit the double cross. Sure, sure, so. sure. That last drive you hit, would, would that be an ideal ball flight? You like the height of that shot? You want it higher? So I feel like that was like a little spinnier. It kind of came out low and then went up. Because so that took off a little low to you? Yeah. And, and the only reason I ask is because, I mean, high to you is different than high to me. Yes. So I need to know, like, are you are you trying to hit the ball higher? I mean, if you're not, then we don't change much. If you want to hit the ball higher, then we can make a few changes. Right. So, you know, when I when I work with you, that's one of the always things. It's like, well, you know, how do you want to hit it? It's like, well, obviously better. I mean, that's like, I want it. If, but it's not so obvious. Right. It's like, is that too high? Do you want it higher than, do you want more draw? Do you want less draw? Right. So I think I think those are really important questions to ask. Let's they see are. you hit a few more. Let's see you hit a few more. Oh, I like that part. Man, I like that too. I love that part. That was nice. That's beautiful. A little draw. Dude. I love that. That was nice. I love that. Why can I do that all the time? I just gotta be out here. Uh, you know? We do have the best time together. I think oh. you get I think you get comfortable and you don't search as much with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just kind of let it go. Just hit yeah. And then when you're on your own, you might like try this and try that. And it's not it's not it's like your desire is high right. to hit the ball well. See a couple more. All right. I mean, I, I see absolutely nothing wrong with those three shots. Those are nice. Now, let's see a cut. Okay. Let's see a cut. Okay. Let's kind of get the ball to end up at that 200. Okay. What 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 do you think about when you try to cut it? Um. For me, it's more about like the face. So like I try to take it a little higher yep. back here. Yep. And when I come across. I just try to hold the face off a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. That's what I think. You, Obviously, I, I open just a smidge. Okay. Not not crazy. So, like, you know, I was standing, I was standing kind of like right here for the draw, sure. which was a little close. Sure. Um, and then now for the uh, the cut, I'll just be like right here. Okay, okay. And it, to me, it feels super open. It yeah. might be more square, yeah. but it feels crazy to me. You know the biggest improvement you've made in the last year and a half is 
you even picture the shot. Right. You look at the shot. I mean, when we first started working, I'd, I'd, I'd stand in front of you because you just like hit a ball and hit it. Right. I want to hit one more. And now it's like you, you step back here, we look at the target. Right. And that is so incredibly important. Right. And yes. you've gotten better at that. Yep, yep, for sure. It takes practice. It takes practice and patience to be able to buy a bucket and maybe not hit all, all the balls. Of them. I like to hit all the balls. I'm a sure. grinder. But, you know, sometimes you don't hit them all because like now it's like I, I sit back, I try to picture it. Like I told you earlier, now since I actually do go in with a game plan per shot. Sure. It's like my mind has already programmed what I want to do, and my body just reacts. Sure, so when sure. I do that, I have better results. Typically, sometimes I'll get in the round and I forget to do it, and right. I hit a bad shot, and then I'll be like, "Ah, oh, I didn't even. I was just aimlessly hitting. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think. You know, yes, yes, think yes, yes. So cut. Right. Yeah, let's see the cut. So cut. I'm gonna start it out there in front of that bowl or okay. that bucket and try right. to turn it to that 200. Cool. I think that was a toe hit. Yeah, it was toe that hit. Was toe -y. That was a toe hit, and that was still pretty inside out for a cut. Yes. Okay. See it? Really start that ball left. It's one of the hardest places to actually practice cuts is, is when you're in the middle of the range and there's nothing in front of you. It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. So much easier when there's like a tree in the way and you have to cut it. Yeah, right, 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 right. Which is an odd concept, but it really changes things. That is a perfect cut. Man, your swing's looking good. So the first one you said I was still a big in to out? Yeah, the one before that. Right. Yeah. So what was the difference with that one? Like I didn't really feel like, I, well I did feel like I tried to do a little something different. Like I felt like, since you said that, the first time I thought I went, you know, kind of. Sure. But I guess it wasn't. Sure. So I just tried to do it more. Like I tried to take it up almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you just do more. It, it's not that your, your intention was good the first time. It's just you see the ball flight and you learn from it. Maybe your first one did feel outside. And it, my point is obviously it wasn't enough. Right, right. That's all right. it is. You ever go see like a running coach? And he tells you like, hey, lean forward or get your leg up. It's like, it's not that you don't want to be in a certain position. Right, right. It's just that he needs to tell you because you're not doing as much as you should be doing. Right, right, right. Th right. That's all it is. Nice. Ooh. Nice. That's really good. Ooh. I think we're just meant to be. <laughs> I, you, you just get a little bit more comfortable. You moved to Arizona, bro? I, maybe. It's cheaper here. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, great. Let's, some, let's see some long irons. All right. Let's hit that 24 you got there. I want to see a couple cuts. I want to see a couple draws. Big sweeper. Big sweeper. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I sometimes... Uh, when I'm missing you, we go back and I look at some of these old videos that you and I did yeah. like three years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all these things you're working on. And I'm so proud of you because, yeah, we don't have to think about that anymore. Right. We because, yeah, it goes up, it comes down, it's on plane, it's releasing. Right. Now it's a little bit more of how do you do it under the gun? Close. Good swing. Close. Good swing. Very close. You know what the biggest difference is? between a, a golf influencer and a professional golfer. What? Golf influencers go through a lot more clubs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, you know, guys who do this and it's their business, they got, they got their tools and yeah. it does not change very often. Nope. Beautiful. Let's see some cuts. All right. That was beautiful. We used to spend hours Damn. trying to draw the ball, hit draw. Now you just got it on command. <laughs> Let's like see my, a couple cuts. That's like my stock shot now. One of the biggest things you improved, which is really important, okay. you play so much faster now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's important. Yeah, it took a while for me to play before. 
But he, if you want to get into the premium group, premier groups, yeah. with the right people, I mean, unless you're number one, you can't play slow. Yeah. You just won't get invited. Like, right. ah, he's cool, but I don't want to golf with him. Yeah. You, you don't want to be that guy. And that's important. Right. It is. It's true. That's important. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see it back of the right wrist a little bit more bent and swinging left. Here. So, back of the right wrist bent from the outside, coming down, swinging left. Yes, 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 yes. So. Yes, like okay. down and left. Because when you come out of it, that's when you're gonna miss it. Because mm. your so your misses your misses are like it starts right yeah. Mm. Okay. If, like if you if you cut it and you miss it left, it's not that big of a deal. Right, 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 right. Just right. go straight left. It's okay. Yeah. This is more that motion. This is a big deal. When you need to cut it, it doesn't start left. Big problem. Yeah. When you start it on that line, no problem. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. That that's the biggest thing for me with cuts. Like, I don't know the shape, and I don't know the start, but I might not. I might start it inside that start line, yeah, and I and might and lose that's not, it. And that's not okay. That's you not could okay. start it left of the start line. Right, and that's yeah. fine. I got you, I got you. Pro tip, when you're cutting it, start it left of your line, right. or on it, but not right of it. That is not okay. That was actually really good. That I know that it. was heavy. Like, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Beautiful. Ooh. Beautiful. And I know that feels good too. It's like the right direction, right? Yeah. It's not fight. Like, this is a scary feeling. Yeah. This is not. It's a good feeling. Oh, God. It's that oh, God feeling. Oh, God. It's going to be a problem for people if I can get, like, my cut start line right. Or just forget it. If I can get my start lines the way I want them every time over for a lot of people that's what i'm thinking i'm i think i'm um jason's caddy jason's caddy luke so i'm with him and i'm like bro can you like teach me something right now dog and he's like what do you want to learn i was like i don't know like how do you practice like tell me how you and jason like practice get yeah. ready for it. he's like all right cool he was like we do he was like we do a start line drill he's like we're gonna use every uh every uh club in your bag i'm with caddy luke. i'm with luke reardon this yeah. guy yeah and i'm like yo Teach me something like what do you guys work on? Like how do y'all practice? Like TV something I can take home with me. You know what I'm saying? So he goes, all right, we're gonna do start line drills. Okay. He literally okay. called it start line drills. Okay. So he's like, we're gonna use every club in the bag. He was like, we're not hitting more, one club twice in a row. Okay. So he's like, all right, grab your eight iron, right? And then I'm like, all right, cool, grab it. And he's like, give me a target, point it one out. That's at 200 yards. He's like, all right, give me your flight. And he was like, give it to me specifically. He was like, don't say right to left. He was like, give it to me specifically. So he gave me an example. So I'm like, all right, cool. So 200 yards, I'm going to start on the right edge of that big tree hanging out. I'm going to turn it into the 200, right to left. Uh -huh, uh -huh. High, bam. And so he was like, all right, practice it. So I would practice it back here. Yeah. He was like, all right, go hit it. And so he would give me like points. Like yeah. if I did it perfectly, he was like three, three dots. He was like, if you get the start line right, but it hangs out, he will give you like one. You know, if you get two things, you know what I'm saying? So, and we went through every club in the bag. And so, you never hit the same club twice. Never hit it twice. That, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do the Jason Day start line drill. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to work on I love that. Like literally never, it was like, if, even if I didn't hit the shot right, it, it was like, put it away. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And, and that's the beauty of like what we talk about of like, see it, visualize it. You right. got to see it. Right. It's not, you gotta get this down. Actually, if you start getting this down, I guarantee you this is gonna get better. Right, right. It's really hard to be here and get that ball start online. Yeah, exactly. Good. I'm working on it, man. I'm trying to get nice. I'm trying to get the scratch. I gotta get my hand, my wrist here and more left so I can get the scratch. That's what I worked on today with my guy. Hey, brother. Always a pleasure, man. It was great seeing Love you. Love you, dog. Appreciate you.